You know, Cassie, thank you. It really didn't feel <laughs> like fall. And speaking of that, we we do want to talk about this because even though it didn't feel like it, Nevertheless, today was the official first day of fall, so we sent reporter Gabrielle Hayes out to the pumpkin patch, and you met a lot of great people, but you didn't uh, bring us any pumpkins back. I didn't bring you any pumpkins, okay. but you do have to go, especially if the temperatures cool down. Today was a great day at the pumpkin patch, but it was even a better day for little ones who went to pick pumpkins. Hi, Mommy, Mom. let's get this pumpkin. If you ask Ella and Pacey what their favorite part of fall is, it makes me feel like Halloween. They'll tell you the answer has a lot to do with pumpkins. Oh, I picked out pumpkins, and when I get home, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie. The two spent the day at the Oaks Farm, a family-owned business that started almost 20 years ago. My wife took our kids to a pumpkin patch back in 99. They were both really small. Had a great time, came home and said she, she really loved it, thought it was something we ought to do. Close to two decades later, the farm is still filled with family, fun, and pumpkins. I rode the Oaks Farm little tractor ride. Ella and Pacey say they have big plans for the pumpkins they pick today. I normally carve them when it's either the week of Halloween because I don't carve it like right after I get them because they'll rot. And even bigger plans for their Halloween costumes. When I get the Halloween Ghostbusters, I want to be Miranda Sings. Owner Ken Oaks says it's all about creating moments East Tennessee families can keep for a lifetime. I just want them to feel like they've had a good time with the family, you know, and the kids, they got a memory they can, you know, they can remember. Oaks Farms will be open until the end of October. We have a full list of pumpkin patches in East Tennessee on our website. Daniel.